All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to Menu Heroes. So, today we're going to uh, go to Mount Crennel. But first, we have got to... Oopsie. Wrong button. <laughs> We've got to go to Hyrule Town and learn the spin attack from... Guy who teaches us spin attack. All right, Kinstone piece time. Woo! You never know what fusing Kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free Kinstone bag for holding your Kinstone pieces. Yes, yes, you're here for your free Kinstone bag, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, uh... Yes, I caught all that. So basically, Kenstone fusing is like a, it's like a side quest. But uh, fudge, you meanie! All right, look at that! Look at that! They fit perfectly together. Who could have guessed? Also, hurdy gurdies, a musical instrument. I didn't know it was that until like a couple years ago. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. Weirdo. All right. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, Press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Haha, <laughs> very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as so as to demonstrate the technique. The swift blade possession technique of training. Wow. Bye. Well, we've hit our first snag, and that is that I, uh, <laughs> I can't use my controller to do the button, so... <clears throat> Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I had to restart the program and, uh, go back in. I also had to go back to the, uh, training place and get the tiger scroll. And yes, I am on camera. So let's go ahead and just go. Oh, before all that. Oopsie, wrong button. Yeah, uh, part of the problem of having to restart like I did was that I had to go through all of that again. All right, let us let us go. All right, so the goal right now is to get to the top of Mount Crenel. Let's, uh... 
All right, so wait, wait, where, where did he say to go? Just east, never east, okay. That's fun, okay. Well, here we go. Let's go find this cave he's talking about. Oh, I, I know where it is, I remember. Well, I have 20 rupees, so I guess I'll buy it. Alright. So we need that so we can water the, uh, the seeds. Okay, cool. So we can water the seeds on Mount Crenel so we can climb the vines on Mount Crenel. Technically, it's Mount Crenel's base, but who is, uh, who is counting? Yay, money! Oh, hey! That's, uh, that's smart. That's, that's good game design. They gave you the item you need to buy the items that you need. Well, maybe I'm just dumb and don't remember how to do this. Aha, there we go. I figured it out. I'm smart-ish. I have a 4.0 GPA in school, so I'm not dumb. I flunked out of college the first time, but you know. So Xander and I, uh, and you'll you'll hear about this on the Menu Heroes Digest too. Um, we had recorded a Minecraft episode for today, and in my infinite wisdom, I forgot to reset the capture uh, device. So none of it got caught, and I was very upset because it was a once in a lifetime thing. I had made an escape room for Xander to do, and he did it. And he did it in a way I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, he's a smart kid, so... And creative. Okay, yeah, but I can't... Oh, wait, I can. I forget I have this sucky jar. That's the, uh, that's the official name in the Hyrule Historia. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. You gotta love it when- Oh! That, w that would have been bad. <laughs> you gotta love it when people are like, This is either a great idea or the worst idea I've ever had. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I got it. Excuse me. Oh, it's a tiny little hole. Yeah, tell me how that being underneath all of that makes any sense. I like how Link's face is just like, eh, he's jumping on me.
I, I got this. Oh. That was a little disappointing. So, green mineral water just- oh, oops. Sounds like it'd be gross. Uh-oh. Where are all the hearts? Why am I not getting any hearts? I'm gonna die. Again. I swear. Can I pick this up? What the heck? And look, he moves at regular size. Speed. He moves at regular speed. I feel like there's a game theory about how he's able to lift it. Come on. How do none of these enemies drop hearts? Gotta be careful or I'll die here. Well that was disappointing and not worth the effort. And, okay. Wow. That was close. Oh, hearts. Yes. There's a secret here. Sorry, I'm not I'm not sitting around around. I'm not sitting around waiting for that to like blow up. My time is better spent. And next week, oh heck, uh, expect some more Zelda. We'll probably start playing Skyward Sword again. Um, we'll probably get through the first dungeon next week. Oopsie. And I wasted more time going back up than I would have if I just went down the cave. Hmm, my house smells like mushrooms because I had a chicken marsala. Marsala? I had some chicken mushroom dish. I don't remember the name, gonna be honest. It was good, but my god, my house smells like mushrooms now. It's like a wahoo, it's-a me, a Mario. 
And I'm like, no, it's a me, a mushroom. Everywhere. Holy crap. Sometimes I like to remind people that Chris Pratt is playing uh, Mario. Because if I have to suffer, they have to suffer too. Look, I love Chris Pratt as Star-Lord. I loved Chris Pratt as, uh... Oh, God. Dude from Parks and Rec. And I loved Chris Pratt in Onward. But I do not think he's a good Mario. And honestly, I've gotten tired of seeing his face everywhere. That said, Onward was a good movie. Underrated, and it makes me cry every time. Even just thinking about the ending makes me cry. Because that's just, that's that's how I view Xander and I's relationship. What does this say? Right, well, I can't climb a wall, so I'm just gonna, wait, yes I can. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Well, that was embarrassing. Ooh, ooh, heart. Woo, I got some bombs, y'all. You know what that means. That means there's a wall here because Good game design dictates that if a player needs something, you will make it available somewhere near them. I mean, you know, it makes games predictable, but like... <laughs> it's like, I don't want it to be predictable, but every time, you know, it's not what I expect, I'm like, I don't like this. And it's like, pick a lane! Steven, pick a lane. Ah, you meanie. All right. And you know, you know what these these whirlwinds are reminding me of? Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. <clears throat> All right, we're nearing the uh, we're nearing Mount Crenel, and we can't go that way. Ah, leave me alone, please. You pee, you pee hat. Oh my god, I'm gonna, uh oh. <sighs> oh, it's a grip ring, what? Ah, uh, I don't have enough. Oh my god. Ah! No! No! Dying. Oh no. So I've had for a while this idea that the gust jar and the gust bellows from uh, Skyward Sword are similar. 
Well, no. Okay, that sounds stupid. Are like the same item, or at least variations of the same item. God, this is so dumb. I don't have enough rupees. And all I keep getting are bombs! Look, how's that gonna help? It's not, that's how. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy crap, why? Alright, I guess down we go. Nope. Oh my god. This game is making me lose my mind. Alright, well, this is clearly a bombable spot, so... Okay, that's great, but that doesn't help. Where I'm only having this issue because I'm recording. That's literally the only reason this is happening. If I wasn't recording, I would have no problems. Oops. Oops, that one wasn't close enough. No! Yes! Okay, I can do something with this. Now we gotta make our way back up. Dang it, I keep pressing the wrong button and wasting all my bombs. Mount Clanel. Nope, we gotta go this way. All right. You, you gotta be kidding me. Dang it! Uh-oh! Wait, no. Well, that was disappointing. Oh. 
That was also disappointing. Yeah, I realize I went the wrong way. Okay. Nailed it. Wow, what useless information. And I'm dead. Let's try that again. All right. I like this this song. <clears throat> All right. Just tuck and roll, tuck and roll, Link. No, I messed up. Dang it. Well, now I know not to use the speed function while I'm trying to roll a boulder. I'll just have to be that thing I'm not good at. Patient. There we go. And I'm, uh-oh. Oh, no, I want that. I like the hearts. Have I messed up? No, I haven't messed up. The game is messed up. Nailed it. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. God, I hate pea hats. I always have, I always will. They are some of the most obnoxious enemies.
Wait, I think there's still some pots over there. Yeah. Let's go! Woo! And we'll just avoid you. Well, we didn't do a good job of avoiding him, now did we? Dang it! Ah! Well, that didn't work. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Hair in my mouth. All right. Time to put my true crime skills to the test. See if I can push this boulder into a hole. Ew. Keep getting hair in my mouth. I need a haircut. But then, like, whenever I get a haircut, my hair looks terrible. I cannot win. All right, we finally made it to where Malari is. Malaria. Malari's mines. Oh, green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be young Link? I am Malary, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Picori blade. Oh, I love all this adventure. Alright. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. Hey, they'll be- Yeah, I don't remember the voice I gave him. Oh well. Let me through. Thank you. Oh look, it's another wind crest. Ah, I keep doing it. All right, and that is gonna do it. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, until next time, stay cool.